Shia LaBeouf is trying his best to make up with the author he's accused of ripping off by the way of an apology. The actor first said that he, quote, got lost in the creative process, and that was his reason for not crediting this author for inspiring his film, HowardCantor.com. Stephanie Elam joins me now. And so what exactly is uh, LaBeouf doing to, to make it up to this author? It's a very interesting story. It's an interesting <laughs> way to give it an apology, Brooke, when you take a look at this. What he has done is take it to the skies. Now, what has happened here is this is a short film he made and it debuted in 2012. And at that point, not a lot of brouhaha about it. But then when the film came out and was released online at the end of last year, that's when people started noticing it looked a lot like Justin M. Damiano, which was written by Daniel Close. Well, that's when people started noticing all of the issues. So he took to the skies. He posted a picture on his Twitter account, Shia LaBeouf did, and he showed, he says, I am sorry, Daniel Close. And he did this over Hollywood. One problem, however, as you point out that he also points out that cloud also means to make less clear or transparent. He put this over Hollywood. Mr. Close, he lives up in the San Francisco Bay Area. So that did not get seen by him. But he's also had a lot of interesting tweets as well, Brooke. Um, well, what did this guy Close, this, this author, have to say about all this? Well, the whole, the whole thing has gotten so much bigger because there's been several tweets that have come out from LaBeouf on his Twitter page where he's basically taken other people's apologies and adopted them as his own. So one from Kanye West that I saw, one from the BP of uh, uh, the CEO of BP when he was talking about the oil spill, just taking their quotes. And then since then, we've heard, according to BuzzFeed, that Mr. Close has come out and said that he was shocked and didn't even know that this was something that he was doing, but that he just doesn't know what was going through his mind at the time. He's mulling legal action, we understand, Brooke. Okay, Stephanie Elam, thank you.